Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Oh, um, two of swords at the bottom. So some of you definitely um, could feel like you're in between worlds. Like you have to make some type of decision. All right, you could have been in a period for quite some time of feeling like a like you're out of control or like you are overwhelmed this could lead to you being a little bit defensive or as you deal with other people this is the type of energy that may be coming out um yeah two of swords five of pentacles some people are feeling like they're really being left out um honestly the universe is coming in ending a lot of different things causing um a lot of tower moments this could be you know tower moments especially in career and finances these are things that we hold on to for security and stability that some of us are being forced out of in order for us to really understand the importance of trusting God at this time. All right, so um, don't worry if all of a sudden you begin to experience a lot of endings or maybe you've been experiencing a lot of endings, but it looks like right now there's a lot of stability and security coming in for the collective with Aries, um, with the Aries the moon that's, you know, that energy of the emperor, so I would say the divine master, this is having order, organization, um, you know, how exactly are you, how how do you view yourself and then also um, try to figure out how do others view you, not from a superficial standpoint, but are you walking in your true power, authority, and your authenticity, all right, so I'll stop here on the wheel, which is the number 10. There's a completion here. Here is a turning point. Some of you, you have love coming into your life with the will, the Ace of Cups. Your next love, wow, is definitely going to be a reciprocal relationship here. The King of Pentacles and the Empress, beautiful. With the Hangman, Ace of Swords, ooh, the Chariot. All right, so you guys are definitely moving into a season right now where you're receiving a lot of truth, clarity, downloads, information, all right, from the divine about how you need to move forward, okay? I am sensing also too with the King of Pentacles and the Empress. I'm hearing Maul and Paul right now. So for some of you, you know, now or in the future, you could be moving into a situation where, you know, you're going to have a baby with someone. This baby does not have to be a physical child. This baby could just be something that you and another person are choosing to really, really nurture together. It could be a business, okay? Some kind of offer or opportunity that is coming about for you. Um, the charity card here with the hangman is saying that a lot of you, you're moving forward despite the fact there's been some delays or some challenges here. Your delays, the obstacles, challenges, setbacks, or whatever, it has allowed you to go through a period of enlightenment where you are awakening to some new ideas, some new truths about yourself and different people around you. I'm definitely seeing where there's been like some type of spiritual awakening here for some with the Ace of Swords being out here with the Hangman and the Chariot. There's truth and clarity that's really, really allowing you to move forward. Of course, if you don't feel like this is happening um, only to you, this could be happening to someone that is either in your life or about to enter your life. Please be mindful that as you are listening to the readings, a lot of people are shifting into um, a, a new timeline. So a lot of the readings will give you clarity, my readings at least will give you clarity about things that have already happened to you. Um, as we are looking at the readings, especially when it comes to love, partnerships, friendships, um, and different relationships within your family dynamic, a lot of the energies that are coming towards you, you're going to start hearing more of the backstories about people that you haven't even met. Um, this is that heightened awareness that Spirit is allowing us now to really see what's coming towards you, even if you haven't dealt with it. And some of the situations may trigger things in the past, but you're being triggered now, I feel, to heal. The will is here at the Ace of Cups. So there's a turning point, especially when it comes to love in your life. This could be self-love. This is how, you know, you show up in the world and you you don't actually demand re reciprocity, but you should be shifting your energy um, to a point where that is what you are a vibrational match for, is reciprocal relationships and and love, especially as the Empress. The Empress here is saying for some of you, you need to be aware of being in your feminine energy. You don't want to be in a feminine energy to the point that you're playing the martyr and you're giving too much, okay? But it's fine for you to give, but in the feminine energy, whether you're male or female, you definitely need to position yourself in a place right now where you are open and ready and fully able to receive. This is a, a season of harvest that's coming in for a lot of people. Okay, um, a lot of your work has already been done. 
the King of Pentacles is here. The King of Pentacles being here with the Emperor. So for some of you, you have a masculine in your life or coming into your life. They may not yet be at the um, Emperor status, okay? But that's not a bad thing. Some of you right now with the Emperor and the King of Pentacles here, um, it's the, wow, it's the analogy that I use all the time. It's like the divine feminine. You you have a universe within you. You have this soil. Your your fertility is a soil. And then here, the King of Pentacles. This is an actual pentacle. This is a seed. So for some of you, um, you may meet a masculine, and that person may not be um, what you would consider to be at emperor level just yet. And the reason why is because for for many people, what you're about to notice, and and I can I can see why the divine is doing this. A lot of divine feminists who are already in empress level status, you're going to meet people who are like a king of pentacles. You're going to meet a lot of kings. They won't become an emperor until they actually are able to give you a seed. This is to force a lot of partnerships and unions to come together. Okay? I want a lot of you guys um, to pay close attention to your life right now and not go out and have... Uh, these expectations where you think that every person is going to come to you, they're fully healed, they have everything together. Th this whole uh, buying into this this idea that you're going to meet a perfect person. Um, you need to meet the right person. It's not about meeting the perfect person. You need to meet the right person. A lot of people in the collective, the reason why many of us have had karmic relationships is because we have we've chosen our partners instead of letting God actually choose our partners for us. Okay, there is a divine purpose over this King of Pentacles and this Empress. So you may have a King of Pentacles here who has an amazing idea, or they have, they want to start a business. If the divine feminine is open to receiving this information, and will allow this King of Pentacles to plant a seed, then there will be a lot of an overflow here of abundance where there will be equal give and take. But this is going to force a lot of. Um, this, this dynamic right here is just it's very beautiful because a lot of the divine masculine collective they're going through ego deaths where right now they may not be at emperor level and so they have to kind of go through an ego death to realize that in order to be an emperor they have to first go to the empress a lot of divine feminines who are in this empress energy are going to have to realize that yeah you got two divine feminine um energy on your own perhaps without a masculine for some but in order for you to build now you're going to have to be open to receiving this is going to force a lot of people to really really get um out of that south zone energy to really get out of that karmic energy to stop being so defensive to get out of that wounded warrior energy it's time for people to bloom and blossom spring is coming there's a new year pretty much a new lunar year it's time to just be happy to love yourself, be accepting of where you are. So let's see. The Ace of Wands. And here is the star. Beautiful. The Ace of Wands and the star here clarify the wheel. All right. So obviously here, what it's saying is that something here is very much destined. It is now time with this awakening that you have for you to embrace all of these passion, new beginnings and opportunities, new relationships, these ideas. This is a time to be very creative, okay? Some of you, um, you know, if, if you're looking for love or you want to be found by a lover, you may have a person that comes towards you. Like I said, here, here is, I feel like that masculine energy, nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles. You have a person that may be entering your life or they're already in your life. They're ready to come in and build, but there is something that you and another person have. So some people are needed to let go of this conditioning that your person is going to have everything that you have. No, that's not the way that it works. If that was the case, you and this person, you wouldn't need each other. Some of you are going to be put in a position where if it's a, a friend, family member, or even a lover, it's going to be very much that yin and yang energy. You are going to have something that another person does not have. And vice versa. And the reason why this is happening is so, again, people will learn how to drop their ego and allow a person to help them. A lot of people in the collective, especially my divine feminine collective, are very accustomed to doing everything on their own. God wants you to get out of this um, mode of playing the martyr, being the superhero for everyone. Let someone come in and actually assist you. It's time for people now to learn about actual partnership. And I'm not just speaking of romantic. How exactly do you work alongside another person? Do you know how to ask for help? 
the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. So again, this is a masculine energy. It could be male or female, but someone is coming in, okay? And they it may seem like they're moving slow, but they have a plan. Slow and steady is going to win the race here. The Eight of Cups and the Tower. Some of you, you could have walked away from a person because it was very slow and steady. And you may have been in an energy where you were thinking, listen, I want it now, I want it now. This person may be coming towards you now with a very serious offer. Some of you, this is someone coming back to you. All right, this doesn't have to be someone from your past. This could be just someone, it was casual and it never went to a relationship with this person. I'm not, in, in my readings, please, I'm not telling anyone to go to a person that you know for sure is an extremely narcissistic just mean-spirited energy vampire but you will meet people sometimes and the timing just isn't right for those connections and you have to allow yourself and that person to go through an awakening this does not have to be a lover this could be a friend this could be someone else that you want to do business with whatever the case may be something is being balanced out and it's going to allow a situation to come into your life that once was moving very slowly it's going to gain some type of um speed and momentum now that some type of awakening has happened there's for sure a spiritual awakening that's taking place. I do feel for those of you who are considering romantic relationships, there's an awakening that's happening with both you and someone else, whether they're in your life right now or they are about to enter your life. I feel like they're um, divine feminine walking away from things, uh, some type of lack mentality, a poverty mindset, being afraid that you won't receive what you want because you are already in this divine um, feminine empress-like energy. Almost feeling like, you know, again, like I said, what you want may not come in or like you have to settle because you decided to walk away from that particular mindset. It's like now spirit is sending in an energy that is going to actually show and prove to you. No, you can actually have exactly what you want. OK, but what you want is not going to come to you the way that perhaps you have imagined it. What you want is still going to come to you and require work. Some of you, you want someone that, you know, um, I hear in the clip, everybody keeps talking about this wealthy man that's going to enter everyone's life. But what a lot of people don't speak about is that wealth is not always about principles. There are intangible assets that people have. Sometimes you have an extremely spiritually wealthy person. How they, how they um, protect you and, and the information that they share with you, it's, it's worth all of the, the gold and riches. But if you're only looking for a person that's wealthy on paper, you will keep missing your blessing. A lot of people, your perspective of, about what if you feel like you're looking for, what you want or need is going to change. But things are balancing out now with this transformation so that you can actually meet your soul family, your soul tribe, so that there can be unions and reunions to happen with people that you've already crossed paths with and with new people. So a lot of endings are bringing new beginnings because balance is being restored here. And look, we have the Hierophant and the Hermit. Someone here has gone within and they're, they're really tapping into their higher self. I feel like a lot of people are going into union with their higher self and they now are rushing into um, a season of their life where they really want to be these very strong, courageous leaders. Especially the Divine Masculine Collective right now. Because this is going to be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But this right here is, I feel strongly like a lot of masculines. They're being led by their, their angels, their guides, their ancestors. They are now being passed the torch to go now out in the world to be very decisive, very assertive, and to see the purpose that God has for them. They are being forced now to level up. This is because they a lot of uh, masculines and feminines, a lot of masculines are finally catching up to the feminines, honestly. They are letting go of heartbreak, okay? Men, especially, because not too many people speak about it, men go through heartbreaks that cause chaos, confusion, and conflict, and despair, just like women do. They carry that pain differently, but it still happens. Some of these divine masters are now finally waking up after going in with hermit mode, and they are realizing that it's time for them to come out of feeling discontent, bored, and missing opportunities. And they're learning now the importance of them actually manifesting the life that they truly want. So they are putting an end to certain situations and balancing things out so that they can begin to make offers to people who are already healed. Divine Feminine, you're already healed. Or you're in the process of healing or you understand the healing process perhaps a little bit more than a masculine that is in your life or coming into your life. But this person is now wanting to explore 
this healing journey with you. They want, they're they ready and willing to be liberated from whatever has kept them stuck and blocked. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers is here. So someone wants to choose, you know, a practical, divine type of love now. But again, you, you may want to be aware and be cautious of what exactly are you looking at and what are you looking for. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. The world. This right here is an... Um, it's an upgrade in love, okay? You're growing. You're you're evolving. There's an upgrade here. Cycles are being closed out. You can stop being, you know, worried and, and weary and paranoid and afraid that the worst of the worst is going to happen. It's time for you to come out of an energy of being stuck and complacent. You don't have to wait, wait on the past to come back. And you also don't have to be fearful that the past mistakes are going to keep on repeating themselves. All right? You're, you're going to have to trust that you are protected. And know that you are protected because for some, that simply means that you need to be um, serious about living a set-apart life. You know, there's certain, yeah, you will attract angels and demons, but you should be discerning enough to know when the demon comes towards you dressed up in a pretty bow that you need to flee the scene. Don't entertain certain things anymore. You already gone through all these, your test trials, tribulations, and learned your lessons. It's time now to apply them. I have a reading um, from... Some time ago, it's time to take, you have to take your training wheels off now. And it's okay if you fall. Yeah, look, the six of pentacles being clarified by the four of wands. This right here is you having a happy life, stability, security, friendships, and relationships that are completely balanced and reciprocal. This is you being put in a position where with financially, even if you were robbing Peter to pay Paul at one point, you will eventually be in a season where you will have more than enough to give to save and to share with other people. Some of you definitely, you have a beautiful connection that's going to come in though with someone that they are going to be willing to share everything with you. Because this is a dynamic where someone, they know that they need you and you need them. To be able to, there's a lot of power and vulnerability in being able to say, I, I need another person. To not be so high and mighty thinking that because you're a divine feminine or masculine, because of how much money you have, your status, or even how strong your spiritual gifts are, that you don't need anybody else. God created us to be with other people. So it's time for a lot of the collective. We just had a full moon in Virgo to come completely out of Virgo mode. And you have to get out of your, your head now and actually get in your heart space, get out of your head and into your higher self. Can I find the Empress? <laughs> the vibe in is really contemplated right now. Like, hmm, I don't know. What do I want to do? <laughs> yeah, the moment. Divine Feminine, you're in your head a lot about what you want your home life to look like. The moon here, you guys, you could be buying new things for the home organizing, cleaning up. The bottom of right now, you're in a period of nesting, a period of preparation. The, the weird part about it, though, is that you don't know exactly what you're preparing for. What you are actually preparing for right now is this four of wands. On an energetic and spiritual level, you some of you, you don't see anything tangible yet because this, this pentacle hasn't shown up. But it's what you are, ne you're, you're nesting, you're carrying something now that you're going to give birth to very soon. You're pregnant with some type of idea um, for some of you, you you may, you know, actually be pregnant or you will become pregnant in the future. There's a lot of energy of pregnancy that has been coming out. Yeah, and the Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, you're nesting. You're, you're preparing right now for this Ace of Pentacles. But see, again, what you have to accept is that Divine Feminine, especially, your Ace of Pentacles is coming from someone else, possibly, for some of you. There's there's partnerships coming together where again you I feel like a lot of people you're gonna have to you come to a, a point in your journey where being alone doing it your way and alone that part of your journey is over. I, I there's no other way to say it. The ten of swords it's over. Going through the deception and the betrayal, the heartache, the pain, the being mentally exhausted, feeling like you know you're just walking on quicksand. That part of your life is over. That means now, though, that you do have to allow help in. 
you have to allow a person to come in divine feminine and this empress energy and nurture you someone there are there has to be a healer for the healer someone has to nurture the mother at some point so it's time to receive this ace of pentacles here divine feminine right now you you probably are in your head you could be having dreams about this ace of pentacles this offer a person for some of you you're having dreams about a child a business a person whatever it is but if you notice the pentacle is here this is the seed that god is giving you it's in the hands of someone else though for some of you you definitely can you know expect marriage business opportunities and and for some pregnancy actual pregnancy king of pentacles but see this king of pentacles it has taken the king of pentacles time to get this this pentacle he has gray hair so like i said it's, it's slow and steady wins the race But this is someone here, if you feel like someone is moving a bit slow in a situation, the thing about it is when this person finally gets some kind of the security and the stability in their life, they will forever have it. Yeah, nine of cups. And it'll be your wish fulfillment. So your wish fulfillment right now, part of it is in the hands of someone else. This is not codependency, okay? We're shifting out of codependency we're now shifting into a new reality where divine partnership is it, it's actually attainable. Uh, it's a thing. It, it's possible. It's it's the new goals. You know, <laughs> I think the collective is so accustomed to feeling like every person that comes towards you is an energy vampire. They're here to use you and to manipulate you and take from you to the point that some people are running away from good opportunities. There's divine feminine, especially. There is something in your journey and divine master. You come to a point in your journey where you have to have the other person. There is something that you like. Your I just said this to somebody yesterday. It's like you are meeting a person that has an anointing in them and over their life that God has. It's like God has pretty much given somebody else a gift. And but it's to, it's meant to be shared with you. Your some of you, your gift is coming through some someone or something else. Wow. And the reason why this is happening is it's going to challenge you and another person to get to know yourselves on a different level. It's going to challenge you and another person to really heal. Some of you are connected with people in the relationship. It seems challenging because you and another person, maybe you're very different. Maybe there's a difference, you know, in, in I don't know, like background, race, religion, age, whatever. Because the Empress is here with the King of Pentacles. So there is something that you may look and say that you're not equally yoked. It's not about you not being equally yoked. It's the fact that God is saying you two need each other. You won't get to the promised land without that seed, divine feminine, and divine masculine. You won't get there without that soil. So it's like you're being given a person for some, they are um, like a tool in your ascension. In order for you to grow, you have to go through them because by going through them, you have to confront yourself. I hope that makes sense. You have to look at this. This is like a mirrored soul. You have to be able to see yourself through this person first. And it's going to show you something good and then it's also going to show you the ugly too. It's, this is what, it's a mirrored soul. Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles liberates this divine feminine. It's what you desire deep down. You just, you don't like the timing of it or how long it has taken or how long it may take. 
But it, it is your wish fulfillment, though. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Something here, it allows you to transform, to be completely free, to walk in your purpose, to go towards your destiny, because it puts an end to an idea that has kept you trapped for so long and juggling. It puts an, an end to you juggling, being in between worlds, wondering if there's a good person out there, or wondering if life can really be good because you've experienced so much hardship. You're going to finally go into a situation, yeah, where you're going to be protected by someone. The seven of wands in here is the masculine, divine masculine. You're going to be protected. This is going, this is what, this is where you see people begin to be loved properly. You're going to be loved properly. This type of love is going to love you into your own mission and purpose. So God is sending you your help meet, your helpmate, your life partner, your mirror soul. The type of person that, like, the two of you, you will help one another to go through soul awakenings and ascensions, and you will grow, and you will evolve, and you will come out of complacency and out of fear. Because this person or these situations will teach you how to love yourself, but it'll also teach you how to allow love in after you've been so hurt and wounded by love. For some of you, love has hurt you. Eight of Swords. This is mental clarity. A lot of confirmations here. Divine feminine, especially with the moon here. The illusions are being shattered. Five of swords and the four of pentacles here. So this is clarifying the ace of swords. And here is the three of swords. Someone here has been very stuck and bound to a relationship, a situation from their past, maybe even their childhood. This is the reason why someone has been holding back. But on this card, you have the five of swords, you have the three of swords. There's two people here who have been holding back. Four of pentacles. This is the shared energy between two people. There's a divine feminine here holding back because of heartache. And then there's a, a divine masculine here who's constantly in mental conflict. Women usually are in their emotions and men are usually in their head. So for them both to be having a conflict of the heart and of the mind, this is the reason why there are situations that have not been able to move forward. Because you're holding on to things from your past. You're holding on to things from a past life that perhaps you're, you're you know, tapping into. You're holding on to things from childhood and so forth. But I feel like there's a breakthrough because the Ace of Swords is here. Someone now is finally getting the truth and the clarity. They see something now. They see where they've gone wrong in choosing certain things, but someone is becoming clear about what they want to choose. And now this divine masculine is rushing in towards this divine feminine, but not just towards their divine feminine. They're going towards their life. But no, God just said their life is the divine feminine. There's a divine feminine. You have an anointing within you that this masculine has to be able to love you properly to get access to, but then it unlocks everything for the divine masculine. So it's like God has sent this person on a mission where they have no choice but to give you this principle. It's, it's, it's the way that you manifest the life of your dreams. They have to make the decision to put down all options, to drop all illusions, to not be easily swayed by anything that looks shiny, to stop being superficial, and they have to bring you an offer. An offer here is this principle. Because the only way that they get close to the closest that they're they're gonna get to heaven is through divine feminine. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's really powerful. So there there there's like soulmate twin flame connections that are really coming together. The chariot. Tell me about the chariot, please. The four of wands. <laughs> so some of you have been in a period of rest, rejuvenation, deep healing, or even separation. This could be a separation between your soulmate, your divine counterpart. This so like some of you could be meeting someone that you don't even know. You just been separated in this lifetime, and you're about to meet them. Some of you 
it has been a temporary, you know, standstill with you and a person. For some of you, maybe a, a long separation. Some of you also with this four of swords and ten of pentacles here, you're moving forward now after healing a lot of family issues. Somebody here may have had to stop for a moment to really assess and evaluate their relationships with their friends and family so that they can rest, heal, rejuvenate, receive those downloads, and now it's making way for you to have a two of cups. Some of you, there was something in your family that you needed to heal because going back here, you have a divine feminine and a masculine who are mirroring each other. There was something that broke divine feminine's heart and something that had um, the mind or the mindset of a divine masculine just completely off kilter. So now, because this is being healed here and this could have something to do with family, now it's like there are blockages being removed in Divine feminine's ability to have a family life that is, you know, satisfying to you emotionally. And then for divine masculines who may have not had financial security or didn't feel like they were able to produce like a legacy, I guess, those strongholds are now being removed because there's been some type of awakening about family issues. I feel like there's a divine feminine and masculine out here who, like I said, both could have had issues maybe with parents as well as some past lovers and you have to really go through your own healing process and journey and now you're coming together where you are finally able to be vulnerable and to talk about the situation at hand how to heal it and how to move forward and for some of you like i said if this is a brand new person when this person in, when this person enters your life you both will probably have somewhat of a similar past or you both will realize that you've become awakened and aware because of the healing journey that you've been on so it's like now the devil is being forced to release these two people because your mindset has shifted because of this deep healing the hangman energy so delays are ending no more delays in love you saw the i shuffle 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 the two of cups it still came out so there you're becoming in awakened about a partnership and there's no more delays in the partnership here. And here's the three of pentacles with the magician. So you and someone may come together and work together. You're going to build something together. I feel like for some of you, you're, you're, you're destined to have like a family business with someone. There could be a blended family here. It doesn't have to be. But for some of you, I feel like there is going to be like some, there's legacy here, legacy building. Okay, there's going to be like a family, there's a partnership here where the two of you may decide to work together and then you may have a business that eventually will become like a family business. This is like a, a man here and this looks almost like two daughters. Okay. Wow. So like I said, for some of you, you could already have kids. There could be a blended family. Or you will give birth to, you know, there may be a new addition to the family. For some of you, of course, you may say you don't want to have kids. You can't have kids. So it could just be something that's within your calling with the judgment card being here. That Ace of Pentacles could be a business. It could be a business where you're working with young adults, children, families, or whatever the case may be. So right now, you're in this very, like, happy, fun, flirty, assertive, ambitious type of energy, divine feminine, I feel, and you have a masculine. For some of you, they're starting over. They're ready to plant seeds. So you being in this um, energy of manifesting and enjoying life, and then you meet this person, you're meeting. What, what's happening is there's a masculine that's coming in for a lot of divine feminines. He's ready to plant like seeds. He's ready to do the work. Whether he's doing it again, maybe he's divorced or he's already been here, done that. But for some of you, you have a person and it's all about timing. There's someone here that the time has come where divine feminine, you're, you're happy. You're in a state of bliss. You're, you have harmony. Now you have a person that's ready to come in. They're ready to like choose you and build with you because this is a spiritual connection. Where you and someone, you were separated, and now it's time for a union. Again, this separation, this could be someone that you've never even met before. Or this five of pentacles could just be for a long time. There were blockages um, 
around your your higher self where you were in this this lack mentality or this victim consciousness feeling like this offer will never get to you because it has taken so long but no once you went with Anne and you found out the truth about who you were hanging around, what all you were doing, and you started to really manifest and plan what you wanted for yourself, I feel like then that's when your spiritual team, they came in and they got you away from all things that were not for you. So you've been in a pruning season where it's like now your spiritual team, they're getting you away from these toxic, karmic, narcissistic energies here that have kept you at a crossroads. You're being forced down to walk by faith and not by sight. You have these, you know, low vibrational energies in your life that were constantly telling you to do things that was going up, going against your higher self, and you were at a standstill because you were afraid to move forward. You know, because you knew that what you were hearing, you couldn't trust what you were hearing. Seven of Swords. Something told you that something, it wasn't right. For some of you, there's a person in your life and something just keeps telling you, you probably need to abort this mission. You don't need to move forward. Don't pass go with this person. And if you got that, um, that download clearly and you decided to move away from it and, and, and dig more into the situation and not just take whatever someone told you at face value that you... And, ignore your intuition now it's like you've passed a test you can be free and liberated now everything is it it's like you're receiving like your ultimate yes because you finally learned the importance of boundaries and saying no you did what was fair and just and so now there's balance here and i feel like some of you you have a person in your life that has done the same thing there's another card behind here yeah you have a person in your life that decided to do the same thing so it's like yeah, you took a loss somewhere with the Five of Cups, but it was worth it because that saying no to something, saying no to a group, saying no to a reconciliation or whatever the case may be, is now opening you up to the Two of Cups that's remaining. This Two of Cups that's coming in for you is the Two of Cups that's really for you. But you had to possibly say no to a particular group, some friends, or even, like I said, reconciling or reuniting with somebody else that was keeping you stuck in this toxic energy. Some of you, too, it's like you if you know that you want to be in a very serious, committed relationship, you really need to put up boundaries when it comes to the third-party relationships. And I know a lot of people, you know, have spiritual connections to people, but being in situations where you are you know, actively, knowingly participating in third-party situations, you're sending out an energy to the divine that you don't want that exclusive, you know, and everyone the, everyone doesn't want to be monogamous, but for a lot of you in the collective that, you know, is, is coming out in this type of energy, you do you want a serious partnership. Whether you and that person choose to be monogamous or not, that's your business. But you do want a serious, exclusive relationship, so giving your all to situations that aren't actually awakening your soul and leading you to your soul mission and purpose is a total waste of your time. So now that many of you are choosing to not be stuck at the crossroads and in this complacent energy and you're saying no, cutting the devil off at the head and not the tail, it's like now you have an offer coming in. Page of Cups. It could be something that starts fairly small it could be a friendship that leads to a relationship or whatever the case may be. But it's something that, yeah, it's it's what you've been hoping for. It's what you hope will manifest, the three of wands. You're manifesting the offer that you've always wanted. Yeah. Four of Cups. Right when you feel like giving up, here this person comes in. The King of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Temperance. Here comes your, your angel. Right when you was ready to get, uh, give up and you decided, you know what? I just don't want to do this anymore. And God was like, no, I didn't forget about you. Wait a minute. And here comes that person. That person that has gone through all the same things as you and they perhaps were ready to give up too. This, this reminds me of the couple that I've been channeling for like a year. You both had to cross a burning sand to get to this this. I don't even know what you want to call this. Like this, it, it's a it's an upgrade in your status, like your spiritual ranking and status of being a true earth angel. But here in Aries season, you could be dealing with the Leo Aries Sagittarius because this is fire energy and 
the temperance here. There is an earth angel masculine that's coming, but I'm telling you guys, hear me now. This person, they don't walk around with, you don't see their wings. You don't. This person could actually come to you and they could have baggage. But this person is chosen. Just like you. And if they can plant their seed in the right soil, the soil of someone here who is healed, good soil, then there will be a legacy here. This, the, everything here will be fruitful and abundant. Spirit is saying right now, have fun. You're going to be overflowing with happiness and abundance. There could be, like I said here, the Page of Pentacles. This is a solid new beginning. But it's like right now, you're going into a new cycle where you need to actually allow yourself to enjoy the journey. Because you are free and liberated. Your finances and everything look good. Nine of Pentacles. Five of Wands. You may experience people being a little bit jealous or envious. Okay? Trying to create obstacles and challenges for you. But you need to just continue moving forward. Have tunnel vision. Do not look back. Because if you look back, it's going to cause you to be in this mental entrapment. You've already had that divine breakthrough. Now, there, you know, you're, you're full of like this... Um, like your strength. You 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 become a supernatural being now. This this is really, really good energy. I'm just gonna pull a few of these cards. Hold on, actually, no, I'm I'm feeling a different energy right here. This is amazing. Home and compassion. Some of you have decided to have compassion for people who you share a home with, especially like childhood, um, you know, parents, people in your family, people who maybe they wronged you. You know, if it's th these energies too, like I said, it's a mirrored soul type of energy. So whatever you, you've done, you're dealing with a person who has gone through something very similar. So let's say maybe if you had, you know, issues with a parental figure, um, Maybe it was your, like, a, your person could have had issues with the father figure. Maybe you had issues with a mother figure, you know. Um, but the issue, the, the core issue is very similar. And you both have had to work through it. And it guides you to one another, or it will. Yeah, peace. Your life is about to be full of a lot of peace. Yeah, because you're getting answers now. That Ace of Swords, you're getting answers about who you are, about the truth. And the reason why you're getting answers and learning what you truly want and it's becoming easier for you to manifest that is because you're putting up boundaries when it comes to you dealing with things that you don't want. Yeah, because you have to protect this seed. Whatever this pentacle is that you're about to receive, you have to protect it. Some of you are being prepared um, to be leaders. In businesses, some of you are being prepared to be parents. Some, it's both. It's a lot of different things that have to be protected. And so God was testing you to see, do you know how to protect yourself? Do you know how to close out cycles and have boundaries when it comes to dealing with people who you know can disturb your peace? There's for sure a collective out here of divine feminists who are meant to carry these spiritual babies very soon. You cannot allow the outside world to stress you, to hurt you, to worry you. You're already being targeted. So you have to know boundaries. This is you saying to your friends, your family, and lovers, you can't come to my home. No, I can't hang out with you. I can't eat that way. I can't drink that. I can't do... You're learning to, to say what you can't do, like I said, to live a set-apart life because your... Your gift, your anointing, it has to be protected at all costs because it's meant to be shared with other people. Some of you, you're carrying, you will, if you're not already, you will carry a, spe a very special child that um, will play a big part in the world. You have to protect that child with your life. So you can't allow narcissistic people around you to drain your energy. 
you know, if you are wanting to, like I said, have a very serious relationship, you you can't deal with being in a third party relationship with somebody. I don't care what the spiritual connection is that you think you have. It's time for you to have peace. It's time for you to build a legacy for yourself. Some of you are real legacy builders. Happiness. Yeah. You're receiving answers about how to be happy. Or just answers that are bringing you a lot of happiness here. Yeah, your well-being, prosperity, beauty. You're meant to be an inspiration to others. Maybe you're a truth teller. You may be a person who will travel the world and look, this person here, this is a woman who is with child. Some of you, it's like you you may be giving birth to like a star child. This this child is bringing great luck. This child could be a psychic, okay? Um, I don't know why. Somebody here is very talented. And it makes sense now. This, this same reading came out like six months ago or so. There's a blessing with this this business or this child that someone is giving birth to. And this masculine, they play a role in this. A big role. For a lot of you, it truly is a child. This child is going to bring so many blessings. This child, some of you, like, you're, you're a... a um, like a family curse breaker, but this child is, um, wow. They're like the first. It's a new breed. I definitely have a reading where I, I, I've spoken about this, like two people coming from two different worlds and there's a, a divine mission and purpose for them to pretty much give birth to a, like a new breed. A, there's, you're giving birth to a supernatural being who will most likely have a lot of psychic abilities or this is you and a person that you're connecting with. Um, so it makes sense. Going back now to the Empress and what we had before was the Empress and the King of Pentacles. And a lot of people say, well, that's not an Emperor. But see, this Empress may have a lot of psychic abilities and this Emperor here may be a person who just has really good luck. So you have good luck with psychic abilities. They come together, you know, and do this transformation these two people may live worlds apart. They somehow will cross paths with one another because they're meant to do something together where they, like, they're going to transform, like, their lives, but they, they possibly can transform the lives of other people as well. I believe these two people are an inspiration to others. They inspire other people to live a life that is, you know, full of peace and happiness, prosperity, truth, and there's something here unfolding seriously truth and answers with psychic abilities here there could be a divine feminine out here who is like a high priestess or a masculine whomever it is but someone in a connection definitely um it's like some type of high priest high priestess and i feel strongly like the masculine their strength lies in their ability to be very prosperous <clears throat> these are two people my, my throat is doing something so crazy right now um, somebody in this connection or the both of you you do you may do something with your voice speaking speaking motivational speaking um, singing or something somebody here could be a, a, a minister even Somebody, you're going to be a truth teller. You, you talk to people. Somebody here could be a coach, a therapist. Someone here could, um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, want to inspire other people to be prosperous. This could be like a financial leader. Because you guys, every person, I know a lot of people who watch tarot and stuff like that, especially my channel, a lot of you are very gifted with your own gifts. But this is another misconception. There are some people who will be in divine counterpart connections in your person, although they are spiritually conscious and aware, their job may not have anything to do with something in the spirit, like spiritual. Okay. There's, there's earth angels everywhere. There's earth angels who work, who work in 
in law, in the medical field, you know, at the coffee shop. Some of you, I, I feel that there's this there's this energy here where some people you're looking for a particular thing you're, you, you're looking for a gift to show show up and it's wrapped a certain way and if you keep doing it you're gonna miss it because i feel like god is sending you what you want but it's certainly not coming to you packaged the way that you thought it would some of you you're like well i'm supposed to, you may be you know you're very spiritual especially if you have like a spiritually based business you think that you're supposed to go on a partnership with someone else who is in a spiritually based business and no, actually maybe maybe they're in law or maybe, you know, they're an investor. There's something about you and this person and we've been channeling this energy now for well over here. It's like a a high priestess and an emperor coming together. This emperor is more logical. He could be a he or she could be a business person, and then one of you is more intuitive and creative. This may cause some challenges, especially with communication, but it's a true yin and yang energy. You two can balance one another out. And that may be the answer that you are seeking. I feel like there's an oversight here. Somebody like true love is, is, is going to be looking you right in the face if it's not already. Because you're still looking for something that is supposed to appear a certain way on paper. It's a spiritual connection that you're going into. So on paper, <laughs> it's not going to look like anything that you've seen before. I'm just going to pull a few of these romance cards and then we'll close out. So today's reading seems to be more so about love. Okay, love and just partnerships. Oh my gosh, yin and yang came out. Isn't that what I've been saying? <laughs> it says here, meet your spiritual other half. You both reflect the innermost parts of each other emotionally and spiritually. You are the reflection of this person as they are of you. What did I say about mirrored souls earlier? Didn't I say that? I said it. Mirrored souls. And you and this person, you're not alike. That's the reason why here you have the Empress and the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, this is someone here who doesn't mind working hard. They will get dirty. Okay? They're also very practical. This is a person here who's a creature of habit. They're practical. They are logical. They don't move real, real fast sometimes. And then you have like the Divine Feminine who is, you know, very creative, fruitful, abundant. You know, maybe um, highly intuitive. Divine Feminine can create things, but you know how people who are very creative can be. This is a free, Divine Feminine is typically a very free-spirited person. These two people are different. But they they will balance one another out. Too many cards. I do see reciprocity here. I see reciprocity and divine flame, but um, and I saw ego versus self. I'm not gonna take six or seven cards. Money and finance. Okay. So you and this person, that could be the difference. There could be um, a difference when it comes to finances. Or you, you two need to figure out what you want to do when it comes to money and finances, your career. It says unresolved financial matters may be affecting this relationship. And I said that earlier, like somebody here definitely um, could have like some kind of poverty mindset that could come from their upbringing, their childhood. As, as they heal those family issues, they're going to have a breakthrough with their finances. This could be you or the other person, but there's tough conversations needed here. For you to actually start a relationship, rebuild a relationship, and especially to maintain a relationship, you need to start having some heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and they may be a little bit tough, you know. But that's what I was saying in the beginning about the power of vulnerability. It's time for you guys to tell a person, hey, I don't really know how to accept love. I'm, I'm, I'm not the most patient person. Or for someone to say, hey, I really like you, but my, my money is just funny right now. I... I'm not in a position to take you to a five-star restaurant. You know, you may have to do a two, a, a two for 20 every now and then. 
<laughs> it's like, you know, it's some tough conversations here, especially if someone here, some people, oh my gosh, I said that at the very beginning. Some people, in order to go on this new path, they've had to give up everything. Remember I said that about career and finances? Some people have had to give up everything, especially some of the, the masculines who have gained financial abundance and security from being in a place of ego. They have to return all of those riches that they gained and they have to start over. Some of you are going to meet a person like that. And you may want to be careful not to turn your nose up at that person because if it's if they have an anointing over their life to have good luck and favor in finances, they may not have it now, but oh, they will have it later. That that's what I'm seeing here. There's a masculine. They have an anointing in them and over their life to have a lot of financial abundance. They just haven't tapped into it yet. Just like there's a feminine here who has an anointing to produce. All of this happiness and, you know, this family and all of these great things. Maybe you just haven't tapped into it yet. And the reason why you, some of you haven't tapped into it is because you haven't met your other half yet. Wow. That's the key. Building a future. Wow. Yin and yang, building a future. It says this one is a key for your love life is ascending to the next level. Wow. This is so beautiful and positive. Thank goodness. Very soon. Yeah, so be clear about what you want because very soon it's coming. For some of you, this person is sitting right there. They're in your face already and you're still looking for something else. <sighs> falling in love. So someone is falling in love with you. Or you're falling in love. You could be falling in love with yourself right now. And that's very beautiful because you're falling in love with yourself. It's going to be so much easier for you to fall in love with your life and for someone else to fall in love with you. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I think that this was an incredibly beautiful reading today. Um, I hope that everyone is blessed with this security. Yeah, law of attraction and security. You are aligning yourself now for, for, for like security, stability, um, wealth, abundance, true love. You're a legacy builder. So it's like, um, oh my goodness. It's so cool. It's like you are... I have here a divine couple coming together. One is a legacy builder because I feel like there's a masculine who has an anointing over their life to have um, wealth, generational wealth, and that's going to be shared with this divine feminine. This divine feminine is a family generational curse breaker. So the two of you together, just you can only imagine. And if you, these two people have children together, that makes sense, the reason why so many people are trying to block you and stop you. They don't want to see what you guys bring together, but the devil is like shaking in his boots about what the two of you may produce, especially when it comes to a business or a child or both. Because it really is going to make some very positive changes. You know, everyone can't say that they're going to change the world, but to be able to change things within your family or your community on on any level no matter how small or how how large you are meant to make significant changes or at least start laying the foundation for some really big changes to happen and the truth is um you know children are the future so this makes sense why some of you have been under such like terrible attacks because you are meant to go into this union you are meant to have this divine you know partnership all of these blessings in your financial life, your business, your security, your finances, as well as in your family. So this is beautiful. Um, everyone truly deserves this energy. Um, please type in the comments that you manifest this, that you claim it. It's yours, okay? Every season is coming in. Yeah, there's a period of reevaluation that was needed, and now we have the golden stars. So the stars are lining up for the perfect opportunity now. So someone has to evaluate their current circumstances and conditions to figure out what changes were needed in order to be able to really practice the law of attraction to really manifest what they truly desire. I just want to stay in this energy like all day. Man, this is some really just 
I'm not using energy. And for some of you that say, well, I'm not looking for love. You know, love may not be looking for you, but if that's what God has for you, then you will be really silly to turn your back on it. <laughs> Dream come true. Exactly. Your dreams are coming true because you stay true to your heart's desires. Y'all, I'm so done. I promise this everything. And I, I haven't used this deck in so long, but I literally, I woke up this morning and I saw this deck in my head. I'm glad that we tapped into the energy because this was a really amazing message. So, you guys, please go within so that you never go without. Be very discerning. If there's any type of chaos, conflict, or disharmony in your life, just say the course and know that, you know, that energy, it will pass. Make sure you're protecting yourself. We do have a new moon coming up, so we don't want to get into it, but you, you know, <laughs> um, people get a little crazy around these moons. Um, so just guard and protect, you know, whatever it is that you're manifesting and know that there is a shift that's happening. All right. And it's a very positive shift. So try to stay as high vibing as you possibly can during this time. And send up a prayer for, you know, whoever this helpmate is for you. You know, whether you know them or you don't. If you're confused about who your person is, ask God to give you truth, clarity, more wisdom and discernment. Because, you know, there are snakes in the grass. We know people who are coming to you with these hidden agendas. Some of you also, too, um, I'm getting this. And this came out a few days ago. Some of you, if you know that you have someone in your life, uh, or even coming into your life, this is when the devil is going to trick you the most, okay? This is when temptation, it, 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 it gets to an all-time high, you know? Um, for those of you who are especially in relationships, if someone in the relationship has, you know, ex is experiencing a hardship, this is when the Jezebel spirits and everything else are going to come at you the hardest because it's trying to catch you in a weak moment. Don't fall victim to those low vibrational energies. This hardship, whatever it is for some of you, is going to pass, whether it's happening to you or your person. This is just a, um, a step back for a major comeback, but you are being tested. Don't invite the devil into your life or into some of you in your relationships, whether it's with friends, family, and especially lovers. Okay? For some of you, if you know that you've been abstaining, you probably gonna have people who are really going to try to tempt you. You know, you don't you don't have to fall into them to that temptation. Because it, it's all a trick to get you stuck before this huge breakthrough comes. So we have a generational curse breaker and a legacy builder coming together here. This explains, like I said. The, the heavy, heavy spiritual warfare. But I feel like whatever it is that you guys are coming into or building, you probably will look in one day and say it was, it was worth it. Yin and Yang is here. But there may be some tough conversations about career and finances. 